Hey everyone and welcome back to Roadside Coder and welcome to the third video of our Mernstack tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna set up our development environment that we need for developing Mernstack applications. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, before we get started, let me show you the place where you can find the code for this project. So you need to go to github.com slash push dash EON and press enter. And when you reach here, just click on repositories. And you're gonna see node zipper over here. If not, you can go over here and search node zipper and there it is. Here is the full code for our upcoming Mernstack project. So you can find the link to this repo in the description as well. All right, so first thing that we need is going to be Node.js. So just search Node.js on Google and go to Node.js.org and download Node.js for Windows or Mac, whatever you are using. So I would suggest downloading the LTS, the long-term support version, because it's recommended for most users. Or you can also download the current version. It depends on you. So let's click on this and download. So just like that, you need to click on it and install it in your system. I already have Node.js, so I'm not going to install it. So the Node.js provides the environment for installing your dependencies and installing Create React app or Express.js or packages like Mongoose. It provides us with the power of NPM, that is Node Package Manager, about which we discussed in our previous video. So the second thing that you are going to need is a text editor. So what is a text editor? Text editor is a software where you write your code. So I prefer using VS Code. So just go to Google and search VS Code and go to its official website and download the VS Code from over here. I already have VS Code, so I'm not going to download it. So the third thing that I would recommend is Git. Search Git and go to Git's official website. Just click on this Downloads Git and just download it for your platform. So Git provides you an awesome environment called Git Bash. Git Bash is a really user-friendly terminal. You can also work with CMD if you want, but I would suggest Git Bash because it's really helpful in certain circumstances like copying and pasting and stuff like that. So if you go over here and type git bash after installing the git, you're gonna have a terminal just like this. All right, cool. Now the fourth thing that you need to install is Postman. Now what is Postman? So Postman is the collaborative platform for API development. So we're going to use Postman while developing API. When we don't have our front end, we are going to test our API by using Postman. So you just go over here and create an account or you can go over here and click on download app and just download the Postman app. You can also try the Postman web or you can download the app. I would suggest downloading the app because that would be convenient to use. All right, so these were the thing that you need to download. Now let's jump to VS Code and check that out. So here's our VS Code. So I would suggest you a few extensions to download. So let's go to the extension tab, click over here. Now the first extension that you need to download, it's completely optional. It, it won't affect your development at all, but this just makes your life a lot easier. So the first extension that I would suggest is auto rename tag. So how does auto rename tag helps us? Let's go to our project and let's open a file, okay, over here. So notice over here, if we change this tag, notice the closing tag is also getting changed automatically. So it makes our life a lot easier. Now the second one is bracket pair colorizer. Bracket pair colorizer helps us identify the opening and closing bracket. As you can see over here, this pink bracket is open, pink bracket closed and blue bracket closed, blue bracket open. So this is how it helps us. These are completely optional. You don't need to install it, but this just makes your life a little bit easier. Third one is ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippet. So this extension helps us a lot. For example, if you go over here and let's let me create a new file sample dot js for example and if we type r a f c e you're gonna see we have these suggestions over here and if i click over here tada 
you're gonna have a boilerplate code with help of it. So it helps us a lot while developing our React or React Native or Redux or GraphQL applications. Then the next is JavaScript ES6 code snippets. It helps us a lot while developing JavaScript application. It suggests the code snippets while you're writing your code. Now the second last is this material icon theme. Material icon theme just helps make your uh, file structure a little bit beautiful. As you can see over here, these folders and these files, for example, if it's a JSON file, it's gonna display this JS icon. And according to the file type, for example, let's just go to CSS. Yep, you can see over here, this three icon over here for CSS. Now last but not the least, prettier code formatter. So this is by far the most useful extension in this list. So how does prettier helps us? So while coding, we tend to mess up our alignment sometime. For example, let me just put it like that and let me put it like that. And now watch, as soon as I save it, it got aligned automatically and it takes care of a lot of things, a lot of errors as well. So it's gonna help you a lot. So how to set up Prettier? After installing all of this extension and after installing Prettier, if you want to set up the Prettier, just go to settings by clicking over here and just type format on Okay, here we go. So we need to set the default formatter to prettier code formatter. After you set it, you can just configure your prettier from over here. If you want to format on save, just check this box. So whenever you paste a code, it's gonna be automatically uh, formatted after you paste it and format on save will be formatting your code after you save your code file. And I guess that's all. These were all the things that you need to get started developing your Mern stack applications. So I hope you have subscribed to the channel with bell notification turned on and have the access to the playlist of our Mern stack so that you don't need to wander around YouTube finding the best playlist for Mern stack because you know it's over here. <laughs> so in the next video, we're going to create our very first Node.js server and we're going to create very first API. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.